some more considerations. Charge more for uncommon destinations. For example, if you have a card that's called Hello Africa, and you list all the different African countries on that poster, when a customer calls the UK, because a lot of Africans do have family in UK or France, you can charge five cents for a destination that costs you uh, one and a half cents. And you know, five cents is very reasonable for somebody who doesn't expect to be making a call to UK on that card. So instead of making a 10% profit, you'll make a 400% profit, or in some cases, you know, a little bit less, 50 or 60% markup. Other ways that service providers can make money are through the, you know, through the um, cards that customers lose or do not use completely. For example, if a customer buys a $5 card and only uses $3, that additional two dollars is is your profit. Um, expired cards are that are not used up are also profit for the service provider. Uh, in addition, many service providers take the calling card customers and they actually try to convert them to pinless customers. They'll have a marketing company call these customers up and try to convert them into a recharging pinless customer. Obviously, many calling card customers are not willing to make that change, but but some of them are and then that customer becomes a much more profitable customer for you. In addition, a lot of our customers sell additional products to the, to their customers such as money transfer services and other things that are linked. Uh, finally, we need to say uh, is an important note. You you really have to consider your expenses when you're determining uh, how much money you're going to make and what rates to set. A lot of people get caught up in the competition and they forget that they have monthly recurring costs. So when you're setting your costs and when, you, when you're setting your expectations, make, so, make sure that you consider your uh, monthly recurring costs. Make sure you consider your hosting co charge or your uh, inbound carrier charge or your uh, you know calling card printing charge. Make sure you make take these all into consideration and make sure that you, uh, you know, take your profit by calculating your revenue minus your expenses. Finally, when considering how to make money in the market, you need to look at fees. Um, if if you're coming out with a clean card, you know that's great for a certain segment of the market that's fed up with these uh, dirty cards. But the dirty cards are still uh, really ruling in in this uh, prepaid calling card market today. So the different fees that you're going to see out there and different billing packages support different fees are typically your connection fee where it's charged every time a customer uses the account, a disconnect fee which is it basically reduces the number of minutes that a customer can speak, an activation fee which is charged only the first time that a customer makes a call, um, a maintenance fee which is charged to accounts based on a time schedule that you defined. Uh, disable fees on first call which is an option that basically doesn't charge the customer a fee on the first call but hits them with huge fees on the second call. There's a concept called a time-based usage fee which which basically charges the customer a fee after uh, a day or two days after they first use it so basically they don't you know feel that fee as much the first couple times that they call. And there's also a value-based usage fee which charges a customer after X amount of money on the account has been used. For example, if he buys a $5 card, it will only charge that fee after $3 is used up. Finally, there is a concept called expiration after first use, which expires the account, let's say, 30 days after the customer first uses that card. And that basically will allow you to capture the unused uh, balance on that account and profit from that. So when you're ready to move forward, I suggest that you contact a few different companies that provide billing systems and provide prepaid calling card solutions out there. And I also suggest that you call the company that I represent, which is PEC Telecom. We're based out of Aberdeen, New Jersey, and we also have an office in Noida, which is right outside of New Delhi in India. You can contact us by calling us at 1-732-290-1900 or sending us an email at sales at voicesaver.com. A little bit about our company, PEC Telecom, which has websites at voicesaver.com and pecbilling.com, which is made specifically for the prepaid calling card industry. 
was founded in 1984. Since then, we've installed over 20,000 installations around the world in over six countries on six continents. We develop IVR systems for banks and for value-added services for phone companies. We design voicemail systems for phone companies around the world. And we also design call center systems. And as you know, we design prepaid calling card and pinless systems as well. We're based in Aberdeen, New Jersey, which is our headquarters. The product that we discussed here, which is called Card Saver, which you may have seen throughout the presentation, was first deployed in 2002. Since then, we've installed it in over 400 sites around the world on six continents. It's a system of choice for several national carriers in Africa and Asia, and presently handles over 1 billion minutes of traffic per month. We offer it as both a purchased or hosted solution. So again, you can contact us at 1-732-290-1900 or email us at sales at voicesaver.com if you have any questions at all. Thank you for paying attention and we look forward to working with you.